Robbie Mueller is a retired school teacher that has taken a hobby of furniture building into a whole new creative art. He finds old scrap metal, wire, and carved wood and transforms it into whimsical art. Let's visit this creative contemporary folk artist. Oftentimes my art comes from the objects that I use. Uh, I will see something when my wife and I are out at a secondhand store. I will see things uh, that remind me of objects, of forms. So oftentimes it's, it's the objects, you know, form that is triggered by the salvaged or recycled objects that I find. I, I do a lot of dumpster diving. I do uh, you know, stop at people's garbage cans when I see interesting things that intrigue me. Uh, and I'm always the guy that is, you know, looking for the boxes of junk when I go to a yard sale because it's in, in that junk that I find the things that, uh, you know, eventually trigger my thought process or my creative process. This is a garden hose with a length of uh, number nine wire run through it so that it will hold its shape. The head is wooden, the tail is wooden. I was a public school teacher here in, in uh, Oldham County. I taught for 28 years, a combination of elementary and uh, middle school. Most of my career as a sixth grade science teacher. Uh, always had an interest in furniture building and uh, when I got ready to retire I had two choices. I was either going to get back into the landscaping business which I did for about 12 years or I was going to do something with the furniture building and uh, had all of the shop tools and had all of the things and start looking at overhead and a lot cheaper to get into the uh, starving artist business. Uh, the first time I sold a piece of art, uh, it, was, it was a little difficult to contain myself because I, I didn't really think of my products as art. I really saw them as accessories to my furniture. And I really didn't understand that people were not seeing them as accessories. They were actually seeing, seeing them as collectible art objects. So it took me probably the better part of the last season that I did shows with my furniture to understand that you know the art is what they were looking at. It wasn't my furniture, although you know I was selling some of that. It was the art that was bringing the people in. And so it was, it was very satisfying, but yet very humbling to know that, you know, somebody saw a different value in it. I mean, I, I saw the value in it. I have an emotional attachment to many of my pieces. There's something about them. It's uh, typically my pieces come from some background, something I've seen, something that, that I've, you know, enjoyed or, or been uh, intrigued by. I really don't have a favorite. I, I'm, uh, my, I do have a Christian background, so I, I did create a piece that was from uh, an old auger um, that I am, has special meaning to me. Uh, something that uh, I, when I got the idea, I saw the auger and immediately thought of a crucifixion type of, of piece, and so. From a sentimental point, from a you know a personal level, that had a lot of meaning to me. As you see on the table here, are, are a combination of uh, works in progress. Uh, this particular piece is a uh, custom order that I'm doing. Uh, a person wanted a possum, so I have a possum and five 
smaller possum that will eventually you know, go on the piece. Uh, so that is a work in project. This is wood. Uh, some of my work obviously is, is other mediums. I have started playing around with uh, paper mache as a, as a new medium and I still am able to incorporate some of the old things that, that I you know, like. I you know, use the wood and, and the paper mache here, people just to see what I'm doing. And so at this point, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, I've done some shows. I've been invited uh, up to the Kentucky Folk Art Center and some other places that are giving my work uh, viewings that I never expected. Uh, and so I'm, I'm hopeful in the coming year to be able to do mostly, if not exclusively, uh, more of the art shows, uh, the you know, fine art shows and uh, some of the shows that have a reputation as being folk art shows. My passion right now has, has been this this art, uh, I have been able to get a lot of personal satisfaction from it, but I've also been able, it, it has opened doors for me in order to meet just a, a wonderful group of people. Uh, I'm very passionate about uh, being able to use uh, things that I find and repurpose them. Uh, that, that, that's always been something that it has intrigued me about, you know, what could this be rather than what is it. Mm -hmm.